Good morning YouTubers, I just need to get the shop open, then I'm going to show you something completely epic. So what I'm going to do is take you to get the epic thing, which is in the case here, and this is the correct definition of the word epic, because it is a scale electric Batmobile. How fantastic is that? Right, let's go Toy Tuesday, everybody. Yes, the scale electric Batmobile. Now, just to give you a bit of context, and while no one's in the shop, I've taken my visor off. So if someone comes in, I might have to put that back on again. This arrived in the shop the other day, and it is a very cool thing. It took me back to a video that I was trying to film in lockdown which I started at home. We're going to skip to my house and the video that I filmed when my moustache was longer and my beard was more pointy, which is called Seven Things You Didn't Know About the Batmobile Unless You Did Some Research on the Internet About It First or something like that anyway. But this is the first part of this video and this is what this is going to be and then I'm going to give you a complete and comprehensive review of this at the end of the video. But for now, Welcome to my house and the video that I started filming in lockdown that I scrapped. Now I'm going to do my first few videos from home, so welcome to my home. Because of lockdown and because it's warmer than it is at the shop at the minute, um, I'm not going to do a Toy Tuesday as well till the shop opens again, which fingers crossed it will do soon. So I thought I'd start the year off with something bat related because they hardly get talked about and they don't get enough press, right? And of course when I say bat related, I mean things like this, not this. Finding a snappy title for a video is quite a difficult thing to do, but this week I think I've nailed it. So welcome to seven things forward slash facts that you may or may not know about the 1966 Batmobile, depending on how much of a fan you are or how much you researched it on the internet. See? Nailed it. Although I did want to use the words brief and history in the title too, but I just couldn't get them to fit somehow. Thing forward slash fact number one. The Batmobile itself wasn't created for the TV show, it was a concept design made by Ford to show off its Lincoln brand of cars at the 1955 car show. It was called the Lincoln Futura and was a massive success, becoming famous in its own right 11 years before it would appear on TV as the Batmobile. Batmobile thing forward slash fact number two. The Futura cost a staggering $250,000 to build in 1954, which is just shy of £1.8 million today. Unlike most concept cars, it was completely drivable. It was coached built by a company in Italy called Gear, who are experts in lightweight aluminium bodywork, probably most famous for cars like the VW's Carmen Gear, uh, but they also did style a lot of other cars in the 1950s and 60s. So that concludes the bit of the video that I filmed at home. What we're going to do now is skip back to the future and I'm going to finish this video off at the shop. This is just to warn you in case there's a bit of a continuity difference. I've just realised I'm wearing the same jumper but in a different colourway, which is a complete coincidence. It's very hot. Thing forward slash fact number three. In early comics, Batman drove an ordinary car, and in Columbia's weekly cinema matinee, he drove a 1939 Cadillac Series 75 convertible, which for some reason is known as the 1943 Batmobile. This changed to a 1949 Ford Mercury convertible, believe it or not, in 1949. The cars were both the Batmobile and Bruce Wayne's private car. To show the difference, the production decided that when the top was up, the car was the Batmobile, and when the top was down, the car was Bruce Wayne's thus guaranteeing that your secret identity is kept safe. A bit like Clark Kent, Superman. Thing forward slash fact number four. The Batmobile wasn't originally painted black. In fact, it was one of the first ever cars to be painted with pearlescent paint, I think in a sort of white color. And they actually used real mother of pearl in the paint, which added to the cost of the car, which at the time was quite expensive. Thing forward slash fact number five. Say hello, Danny. ABC Television commissioned famous Hollywood car customizer George Barris to create the Batmobile. He bought the car for one dollar and sold it for 4.2 million. What an absolute bargain. Oh, and that's my lucky dollar. It's been in my wallet for 20 years, which is why it's a bit manky. If you're enjoying this video about the Batmobile, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button too. Thing forward slash fact number six. The original car chosen to be the Batmobile wasn't the Futura, it was actually a 1959 Cadillac. 
But with only three weeks before production started, it was proving to be too difficult a job to turn around. So that was scrapped and the Futura was chosen. And a screen icon was born. At a cost of $30,000 and turned around in 15 days, the Batmobile became one of my favourite all-time TV cars. I mean, it's up there with the Aston Martin from James Bond, isn't it? The only downside to the Futura was it was a 10-year-old car and it ran like a bag of spanners. By the middle of season one, they replaced the engine and the gearbox. It's still a cool car though, isn't it? Thing forward slash fact number seven. Batman was not the first rodeo for the Futura on the silver screen. The car featured in the 1959 Debbie Reynolds film It Started With A Kiss, also starring Glenn Ford. The car had to be painted red for the film because it didn't photograph well in pearlescent white. And later on in 1961, a film called The Secret Door, which was a promotional movie for Ford, also featured a red Futura, four years before it was to become the Batmobile. Quickly, while there's no one in the shop, I'm going to show you this rather epic Batmobile, the scale electric one up close. In fact, if I, yeah, I can unscrew it from the base and then we can have a proper look at it. Now, unlike the Corgi one, which has a very cool picture of Batman on the bottom, I bet this one hasn't. Oh, we've got a little Batman logo. Is that in focus? I can't tell. These aren't my good glasses. So there we go, that's the front. And the side, sadly with no rockets to fire out, with no wire cutter at the front, like you have on this one. So easily impressed. And uh, like I say, no rocket firing bits on, on the scale electric model. That is such a great toy. You know, the logo's on the wheels. Shame they not put the flame coming out the back, isn't it? I mean, it is lightweight, but it's a scale electric car. And like I said, you have the Batman logo underneath. And that one has... Batman, there we go. I was pulling a strange face on. Now, if I've left out any facts that you know about this toy, and I have because I've only included seven, really, please put them in the comments section below because it would be great to, uh, to hear them. And also, if you had one of these as a kid, share your stories of the toy uh, and tell me about it in the comments section below as well. That would be cool to read those and chat about them. I love this toy. It's fantastic. And I think for Scale Electric to do this is an absolute result. It's fantastic. What a great idea. But I'm not going to run it on the track because this one is for sale. Sorry about that, guys. What I will do, I think, eventually is I'll buy one myself and we'll put a track up in the shop and run it in a future video later on in the year. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, won't it? Right, three more things before I finish this video. I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can buy this from Brooks Collectibles' new website. So we are selling this item, so this is a little bit of an advert for it, but I did want to show you how cool and how fantastic it is, even though I've not run it yet. Next thing is I've had a delivery psycho knife i'm going to open this up and thirdly i am dashing off to have my second uh covid vaccination in a couple of minutes so i think this toy tuesday might not get finished might not get finished until wednesday oh this is very cool right okay the worst unpacking of a thing ever This is going to be next week's Toy Tuesday video.